Hello and welcome to this edition of Veritas Effective Videos. In this video, we will talk about variables. We all know that Verica does simulate the actual NC program that goes on the real machine. Sometimes you may program with variables. It, can, it could be somewhat difficult to track and find different, the value, the different variables with their values during simulation. Let's explore together the different options we have in Verica to actually track these variables and see their values during our simulation. So first of all, I'm going to start my simulation. I have defined a breakpoint stop point in my installation. And now you can see by looking at the NC program window that I do have multiple variables that I'm using. So the different options we have to look into these, to these variables is that we can go to info, variables, and all. And this is going to show me all the variables that are used or have been defined for that particular simulation. And you can see that the table is pretty big and it could be hard to find a specific variable that I want to see. You have an option here to show it to tell Verica to only show you the variables that are used, the variable that are defined, but not used, will not be shown in this table. But yeah, that still makes it a big table, right? A lot of uh, a lot of uh, different variables. What you could do is that you could set up a filter on here, let's say I write six zero, and now I have all the variables that are that start with a six zero or have a six zero in them to show uh, in the table. So it makes, makes it a smaller table. This is great, but still it's a big table, right? Another thing that we could do if you want to track a specific va variable that you want to find the value at all times is that you can select a variable. So highlight it, right click and click add to variable tracking. This will put your variable in a different table that you can access if you go info variables tracking. Now you see that your variable is here and now you can track only in this window, you will see only the variables that you want to track. You don't see all the variables, so it makes it a smaller window, right? Very helpful. Another table that we have is that if you go variables recent, is that you're going to see a table here with only the variables that have been used in the last, in my case, 20 lines, because I've defined it to 20 and you can choose this number and adjust it, maximum being 20. So this is going to give you all the variables that are been used in my case in the 20, last 20 lines. That's nice. So during your simulation, you can always stop your simulation, open that window and look for the different, the different tables and look at the variables and what their values are. You also have an option where you don't have to actually open a different window to see the, var the values of different variables. So let's take this line, for example, here. I have multiple value var variables in there that I don't know what their values are. So let's say if I click, I, I want to know the value of variable 5063, I just highlight it and hover my mouse over it. And it's going to tell me this is the value of variables 5063. Very useful. I don't have to go open another window and it's going to tell me the value of that variable. Same thing here. It's a, it says variable. I know I'm defining a variable because of the pound key, but I don't know what the, this, the, I don't need, I don't want to calculate this to know which variable I'm defining. You could actually just select the equation and hover your mouse over it again, and it's going to give you the value. So it's, I know it's 7,003. So I'm defining variable 7,003. So now what's the value of that variable? I just highlight the equation plus the pound key. And now it tells me the value of variable 7,003. And just like the, in the all table that shows all the variables, 
we can actually select a variable and send it to our tracking window. So if I select, let's say this variable here, right click and add to variable tracking, then my new, that the new variable that I selected will be, will be shown in the variables tracking window. So this is a really nice tool to use if you find var to see the variables see in their values without opening a different a separate window. Well that's it. I hope you you enjoyed this tech tip video. If you need more information about this, don't hesitate. Look at the Avery Cut Help or you can contact CG Tech Technical Support.